Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making this card using the Morning Star stamp set from the Stampin' Up! mini catalog, January to June 2020, and the coordinating stitched stars dies, and these were carried over from the holiday catalog, and I love that. I usually buy every set or die or punch that they have with stars because uh, that's the uh, the uh, logo or the the symbol for my Stampin' Up team. And this card is going to one of my team members, and we call ourselves the Ink and Inspiration Stars. So let's get started. I have a piece of Highland Heather cardstock, and I am going to trim that down. To five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, I just need to trim a little bit off here. And now we're going to make sure we've got the eight and a half, and we do. And so I made the original card in this. Um, portrait mode, the four and a quarter by 11, but this card is going to be made folded open like a book fold, and so it's going to be the same design, same dimensions, it's just going to open differently. And so I'm going to match these two corners here and give it a good crease with my bone folder. And again, this is Highland Heather, five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so we can set that aside. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this image here so that we can cut it with the Stitch Stars die. So I just have a, an extra piece of Whisper White cardstock. It's a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. And I have this stamp here that is going to be stamped in pure pizzazz. And I always look for this big leaf here at the bottom. And I know that's the bottom of my star stamp. And take pure pizzazz. And... I'm just going to stamp that in the middle because we are going to die cut it with the stitch star. Okay, so it's a distinctive stamp, which means it's got shading in the artwork itself. Okay, uh, it's really, really pretty. Let me get the little uh, Morning Glory stamp, and I think I need to pull that out of the box. Here it is. And we're going to stamp that in the lower right corner. There's a, a place for it, and if you get that large leaf at the bottom, then you'll know where to stamp the Morning Glory. And I'm gonna do that in Highland Heather. Okay, then I'm going to come right here and slip that in. Stamp. See how pretty that is. Okay, so now let's do some cutting. Get that Highland Heather ink out of the way, and I'm going to bring the die cutting machine in. And so it's going to use the, I believe it's the... The largest star? Let me see. No, I believe it's the next to the largest. Yeah, there's one that fits perfectly here. And you can just, you know which one to use by putting it over your stamped image and checking the fit. And so let me get this here. I just have my standard platform and my thin die adapter there. And I'm going to center that star and I'm going to take a post-it note and just hold that down. And then run it through the die cutting machine here. And these dies, I loved the stitch dies. It just makes it so much more special than the straight cut. Look at that, how pretty that is. Okay, so now let's move this out of the way. 
I'll put my die back so I don't lose it. And then we can continue on. All right, so next, I have a piece of pear pizzazz, and it's cut at three and a quarter by four and a half. And it's kind of the, the background here for our star, but we want to do some stamping. And so what I do is I put my star, and you can see that it is it extends just a tiny bit beyond the edge of the pear pizzazz, which that's fine. And I'm going to take there is a like a vine with leaves and then a smaller leaf in the stamp set. And I'm going to use both of those. But what I'm going to do so that I'll know placement is I'm just going to make a little tick mark in these little bends of the star. Maybe put a little because I know that's I'm going to be stamping to frame the star out a bit. Okay. So I'm just making a little V. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my Pear Pizzazz ink back in here and ink it up. This is the larger vine. And so I'm just gonna come out this way and stamp in that little crook of the star. And then I'm gonna put another big one down here. Okay, now let me take this smaller one and I'm gonna fill in the gap, so to speak. So I'm gonna come here and then here. And those little tick marks just kind of show me the area where to stamp. It's just easier than guessing. That's the easiest way I've found to do it, uh, quick and easy. Okay, so let me put this back in here, and that's going to work just fine. Okay, I see I have a little bit of a space there, so I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put another stamped leaf. I had a feeling I was getting too far out, and I'm just going to come. Let's do this. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so it just kind of frames out your star a bit. And I see another place I want it. This is, you know, how you you go. You look and you stamp and then you see, oh, I need another little place, another little leaf here or there, and just come back and do it. It's a part of the creative process, right? Okay, I like that now, I think. Yeah, because my sentiment is going to be up here, so that white space is good. Um, all right, let's go ahead and attach the star, and I'm just using liquid glue. Put it right in there. And you could erase those little tick marks, but I'm lining up. And if anything shows after it's good and dry, I'll go back with an eraser and hit it, okay? All right, so there we go with that. Now, I'm gonna work a bit with this card base, all right? And I'm going to take uh, some of the stars, the little scattered stars that are in this set, and there's a little grouping of them and then one that's a little larger. So I'm going to grab both of those. And I wanted to create a border. And so let's do that. I'm going to borrow this and just kind of group it together. And it saves you some stamp time. And I'm using Gorgeous Grape to make for a darker tone on that Highland Heather. Okay, so now I'm just going to ink this up, and I'm just going to randomly create a border. And I kind of turn my um, stamp this way and that so that it's not all, all the stars aren't going the same way or, you know what I mean. And it's safe to say you're making about an inch border, and if your pear pizzazz covers up some of that, you know, that's fine. Look, I got a little ink there. 
I might have to, um, instead of being sorry in the long run, I'm gonna clean this off. My pad is really juicy. I'm gonna clean it with my Simply Chamois. Keep it in a stamp case. I cut my chamois so I have little pieces. And we still have those cases in our annual catalog. Those are where the originally the small uh, wood mount cases, but um, we use them for so many other things storage wise and such that Stampin' Up decided to car uh, carry them over. Really glad. That was a little light, so I'm going over it. Trying not to ink up too much, and I'm getting a little uh, faded look, but that's okay. You can vary the pressure and the, the darkness. Okay, so see, that just created a really pretty background. And then this is going to go right there over top. Love it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. And then I'm going to look for my scrap piece of Highland Heather for my sentiment. And let's see. Here we go in my scrap drawer. I'm gonna take the So Proud of You sentiment, and again, I'm gonna use um, Gorgeous Grape on top of the Highland Heather cardstock. And I'm just stamping. And then, I mean, I could punch this out, but I really like the look of cutting it around. Of course, I can't find my scissors. Cutting around the sentiment uh, to give it that little unique look. And so I do kind of curvy lines instead of straight. And turn your cardstock rather than and your scissors, it makes it easier. It's kind of like fussy cutting, fussy cutting a sentiment and leaving a little bit of a border around the edge so you don't get too close to your words. Okay, so on this, I'm gonna take this and, well, that's the finished card, Lisa. All right, right here, we're gonna put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. I think two will fit. Could have used my minis, mini dimensionals, but these work. And that sets that apart from that star image. And I think it looks really pretty right there. Okay, so just very simply to finish off the inside of the card, I've got this star stamp that says, you're a star. And of course that's appropriate for my team member who's on my team and they are a star. And Let's see, it looks, it looks too big. It is. Let me cut that down some. Usually I cut four by five and a quarter. I think this might be five and a half. Let me see. Yep. Oh. Why does it look so long? I know. I'm just going to cut it down to five. I think I may have cut my card base down a little too small. That's going to work, though. Should be five and a half by eight and a half, but. Okay, I'm just gonna stamp this right in the center. Press. Oh, there you go. And then I'm gonna let that dry a little bit because that's really inky, and then I will glue it on the inside of the card. 
Okay, there's our card today using the Morning Star stamp set, beautiful set from the Stampin' Up! January to June mini catalog. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com. I'm Lisa Brown. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.